I've heard from some people that they will never ever let their children admire Disney princesses uh, because they need a man to be happy. <laughs> this really, really bothers me, obviously. I agree, you could argue the flaws in particular Disney films, like how Aurora is conveniently asleep for half the movie, or how Ariel trades something as important as her voice to be with a man, but these arguments are obliviously avoiding these female protagonists as a whole. There's a general consensus that some of the most feminist Disney princesses are Mulan, Tiana, Merida, and Pocahontas. This is because Mulan disguised herself as a man to save all of China because everybody else is pretty incompetent, Tiana spends her life trying to fulfill her dream of owning her own restaurant, Merida is just like an overall badass, and Pocahontas chooses her family and her home over a man who she also rescued at the beginning of the film. The common theme with these princesses is that there is either a disinterested man choosing your own path over a man, or there's just no man at all. Now this is an invaluable lesson to teach younger children, especially girls. However, this does not make the other princess stories toxic because they do end up with a man. Being a feminist does not equal man-hating independent women. You can still wear sparkly dresses and dream of a fairy tale ending and still be a feminist. Films typically criticized for having misogynist themes are the older films like Snow White, Sleeping Beauty, and Cinderella. And while I do agree that the women in these films aren't exactly admirable, they can still set a feminist example. For instance, Cinderella represents goodness in keeping up hope in tragic situations. Her kindness is a direct foil to her stepmother and her stepsisters, and Prince Charming inevitably falls in love with the goodness in her heart. Snow White is brave and shows generosity in a time of fear, and Aurora represents following your dreams and also being true to your heart. These are solid morals that deserve teaching and repeating, but are so often overlooked because of misconceptions of what feminism does or doesn't include. There is nothing wrong with little girls liking Cinderella over Mulan. Even though Mulan literally kicks more ass than Cinderella, they both come down to the same morals bravery, goodness, and following your heart. Plus, I'm pretty sure Cindy could whoop some hun ass if it came down to it. Oh man, I totally watched that. In the comments or in a video response, while well, you can still make video responses, I want you guys to tell me about your favorite princess. Uh, you can give me a feminist reason or just a general reason. My favorite princesses are Ariel and Tiana. Both very different princesses, but I both love them in the same ways. Anyway, thanks for watching and until next time, Later days.